Welcome to the spoken tutorial on LibreOffice Math. In this tutorial, we will cover introduction and formula editor of LibreOffice Math. We will learn the following topics. What is LibreOffice Math? System requirements for using math. Using the formula editor. Writing a simple formula. What is LibreOffice Math? LibreOffice Math is a software application designed for creating and editing mathematical formulae. It is bundled inside LibreOffice Suite and hence it is open source, free of cost and free to distribute. The formulae and equations created using math can stand alone or it can be used in other documents in the LibreOffice Suite. The formulae can be embedded into documents in Writer or Calc. Some examples of formulae are fractions, integrals, equations and matrices. Let us look at the system requirements for using math. For Windows, you will need Microsoft Windows 2000, Service Pack 4 or higher, XP, Vista or Windows 7. Pentium compatible PC, 256 MB RAM, 512 MB RAM recommended. For Ubuntu Linux, the system requirements are Linux kernel version 2.6.18 or higher, Pentium compatible PC, 512 MB RAM recommended. For complete information on system requirements, visit the LibreOffice website. If you have already installed LibreOffice Suite, then you will find math in the LibreOffice Suite of programs. If you have not installed LibreOffice Suite, then you can download it from the official website. In Linux, you can install it from the Synaptic Package Manager. I have installed LibreOffice version 3.3.3. Ok, let us get started and open the math application. In Windows, go to the Start menu, click on All Programs, LibreOffice Suite, LibreOffice Math or we can call it from inside a LibreOffice Writer document. Let us now click on LibreOffice Writer to open a new text document. Now, in the Writer window, let us call Math. Let us click on the Insert menu on the main menu bar and then Object which is toward the bottom and then click on Formula. Now we can see three areas in the Writer window. The first is the Writer area on the top. Here, notice the small grey box. This is where the equations or the formulae we write will appear in the mathematical form. The second is the equation or the formula editor area at the bottom. Here we can type the mathematical formulae in a special markup language. And the third is the elements window that floats on the right. If you don't see the elements window, we can access it by clicking on the view menu and then choosing elements. This window provides us with a range of mathematical symbols and expressions. If we click once outside the grey box in the writer area, the math windows disappear. Double click on the grey box to bring back the math formula editor and the elements window. Ok, let us now write a simple multiplication formula. 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. Now the elements window has categories of symbols on the top and symbols at the bottom. Let us click once on the top left icon. The tooltip here says unary or binary operators. And at the bottom, we see some basic mathematical operators 
such as plus, minus, multiplication and division. Let us click on A into B in the second row denoting multiplication. Now notice the formula editor window. It shows two placeholders separated by the word times. Also in the writer grey box area at the top notice two squares separated by the multiplication symbol. Let us highlight the first placeholder in the formula editor by double clicking it and then typing 4. Next let us highlight the second placeholder and type 3 in the formula editor window. Notice that the writer grey box has refreshed automatically and it displays 4 into 3. We can also click on the view menu at the top and choose update or we can use the keyboard shortcut F9 to refresh the window. Next let us complete the formula and add is equal to 12 to it. For this let us click on the second icon that says relations in the category section in the elements window. Notice the various relation elements here. Let us select the first one. A is equal to B. And we will delete the first placeholder and type 12 in the second placeholder. And there is our first simple formula in the writer area. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Now we learnt how to use the elements window to write a formula in a very easy way. We can also write a formula by right clicking on the formula editor window and selecting symbols here. The context menu displays the same categories of symbols as in the elements window. Choosing any category displays the available symbols in that category. There is a third way of writing a formula. We can directly write the formula in the formula editor window. Here we will use a special markup language that the math application can understand. We already saw one simple example of the markup language. 4 times 3 equals 12. Notice the word times here. Similarly, to write 4 divided by 4 equals 1, the markup is 4 over 4 equals 1. Now that we are done, here is an assignment for you. In the writer window, write the following formulae. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Use new line markup to enter a blank line in between your formulae, a boolean and b, 4 is greater than 3, x is approximately equal to y and 4 is not equal to 3. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on LibreOffice Math Introduction and Formula Editor. To summarize, we learned the following topics. What is LibreOffice Math? System requirements and prerequisites for using math. Using the formula editor. Writing a simple formula. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. This project is coordinated by SpokenTutorial.org. More information on the same is available at the following link. This script has been contributed by Priya Suresh, Desi Crew Solutions and this is Soundarya, Desi Crew Solutions signing off. Thanks for joining.